What's up YouTube, Controversy here and welcome back to another video. So today we received a mid-season update and honestly, it's kind of weird. In this update, Junker Queen got some pretty nice and needed buffs, while also making some balance changes to a few other heroes that people didn't really expect. Along with that came a few other changes as well as a new game mode, but if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and leave a like on it and let's go ahead and hop right into the video. First up, the new game mode, Battle for Olympus, is a free-for-all game mode where you can choose between seven different powerful gods and battle for the chance to win. What makes this mode unique is that each hero has a different specialized divine power that kicks in whenever they use their ultimate ability. The most valiant contenders in the Battle for Olympus will have a chance to earn a limited time voice lines and player titles to brag about their accomplishments for eternity. So in all honesty, this game mode seems pretty dope. It's a free for all game mode where it's very unique. On top of the earn a limited time player title, I think it's kind of worth it. Now onto some more important changes. So for competitive, the 2023 season for capture the flag will begin on January 10th. So this is a new mode that I guess we'll be seeing. But what's most important here are the hero updates. I want to start off by saying this is not the patch where Roadhog gets nerfed. Aaron Keller on Twitter posted today's balance patch is a bit lighter than usual because some of the planned changes were pulled forward in December's patch. Also a friendly reminder that the scheduled changes to Roadhog are not part of today's patch and are slated for mid to late January. So the reason why the patch seems a little bit light is because a lot of the changes that were supposed to happen this patch actually happened in December and it looks like they're still just not ready to nerf Roadhog yet and in my opinion it still kind of seems like they're trying to make other tanks a little bit better to contend to him more before they nerf him so i don't know i really think they're trying to postpone this as long as they can to keep him as good as they can but i guess we'll just see uh when that nerf happens but anyway here are the hero changes as i said earlier junker queen got some pretty nice buffs for starters her adrenaline rush will now heal her even if the enemy has been eliminated meaning if she hits someone with her jagged blade or carnage or even her melee if they die before the bleed stops junker queen will still continue to receive the health replenish from the bleed. This is good because it guarantees that she is going to be receiving a very specific amount of heals each time, which will increase to her sustainability. Now, Carnage actually got a pretty crazy adjustment. The cooldown is now reduced by two seconds for each enemy it hits. So theoretically speaking, if Carnage hit four enemies, it would have no cooldown because currently it's at an eight second cooldown and four times two is eight. But even then, hitting just two enemies cuts the cooldown in half, which two isn't really unreasonable. And again, because of the buff to the Adrenaline Rush, this is guaranteed heals that she is going to receive. Now onto Jagged Blade. So the thrown impact damage has been reduced from 80 to 50. Now, while that might be a nerf, where the buff it is the thrown direct impact damage now adds a 30 damage wound to the stuck target. So now you're getting healed in an additional 30 health. And again, this is 30 health that you are going to get received no matter what because of the adrenaline rush. This also stacks with wounds caused by a melee attack or by the carnage. Next, Zarya also received a slight buff. Degeneration of her energy has been reduced from 2.2 to 2 per second. And the delay before degeneration begins after gaining energy increased from 1 to 2 seconds. So she is going to be able to hold her charge a little bit longer now which I think is fair since they made it kind of harder for her to attain her charge. So I think this is honestly a, a pretty nice buff. Brig also received a buff where her health was increased from 250 to 300. I think this is kind of weird because they did confirm that Brig was going to be receiving a rework. So I don't know. I wonder why they even added this change in the first place, but I guess we'll see. She's pretty bad, so I guess it's really overall going to be a good thing. Lastly, and kind of oddly, Moira received a buff. Moira's damage orb now restores a small amount of biotic energy, meaning now both your grasp and your damage orb will replenish your healing capability. I think this is honestly kind of an interesting change, and I wonder if the damage orb hits multiple enemies, if it's going to make it gain even more energy, or if it's kind of just a base rate as long as it's hitting something. Overall, I definitely think that these changes were all pretty good all around. I would have liked to have seen Roadhog in these changes, but I guess we'll just have to wait for those. If you enjoyed today's video or find any of this information helpful, please leave a like. And if you want to come back and see more Overwatch content, smash that sub button and I'll see you guys in the next video.